<laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Okay, the first thing you can probably notice right now is what I am wearing. It is my brand new Christmas collection. I am actually obsessed. Like, this is how you do leotards. It is honestly the most comfortable leotard. This is like the softest fabric you have ever felt. Guys, I'm obsessed. And the color, I mean, have you seen anything like it? So this is dropping very soon. So make sure you're on my Instagrams, my Claudie Dean World, my Claudie Dean Collections Instagrams, because I reveal absolutely everything there and you can get your hands on this leotard. This one is called Ribbon Cupid. It's so cute. Okay, so I've got a very exciting video for you all. Today, I am going to be trying on other brands leotards. I basically asked you all on my Instagram what leotard brands you wanted me to try and review. And you guys came in with the goods. So I literally purchased, I think I spent like a thousand dollars in these leotards. And I got all the most popular ones that you all kept saying and Lachlan actually picked out a few as well, <laughs> which was really funny, really interesting. So. I'm actually just gonna go through each brand and hold them up so you can see. Then I'm gonna go through and actually trial them on. So this one here is a Yumiko one. I believe this cost me about 200 Australian dollars, which is absolutely insane, but I'm gonna try it on and see if it's worth it because my God, $200 for a leotard, see ya. Um, this is Dagar. Um, yeah, this one looks really sweet. It's got like a lot of seaming, which is really cute. So I'm gonna be trying this one on. Let me actually find out the prices of all these leotards actually, so I remember exactly how much I paid for them. Okay, so I just checked. This was 83 US dollars, which equates to 113 Australian dollars. Just to put it in perspective, my leotards are $89, and I actually donate $5 of every leotard sale to charity, so, yeah, I'm feeling really good about myself because these are all very expensive leotards. <laughs> okay, we've got So Dancer. Right, and this is no shade, by the way. I'm just giving you an honest review. If you're not keen on honesty, probably just click off right now because I'm literally going to be very honest. So this is So Dancer. Um, I paid, so I paid 94 Australian dollars for this one. And I'll tell you my sizes and everything afterwards. Now this one is Eleve. So that's Eleve. I think Lachlan picked this one because the name of it was Simona. And obviously Simona is my sister. So we were like, ha, ah, let's get this one. Um <laughs> this one I paid $89 for. Then I've got Gaynor Minden. So here we go. And this one was 108 Australian dollars. So that's a Gaynor Minden one. And my last one is Lucky Leo. This one to me looks so different to the photos. Honestly, when I ordered it, I thought it was like a really cute yellow and this is like mustard. Anyway, this one was $78. So this one was the cheapest out of all of them. And this one over here, the Yumiko one, was the most expensive, okay? So I'm just gonna go down the line and try them on right now. So let's start off with the Yumiko one. Okay guys, so I'm putting on the Yumiko leotard. First impressions, I find the Lycra. Um, quite cheap in my opinion and oh my god it's not lined that's right I had to pay like another extra fee for lining which is crazy wow anyway um oh gosh I think this is super see-through <laughs> oh my gosh this is like, okay, I have to cover up my boozies because this is actually see through. That's so bad. Oh Imagine my God. I'm gutted. Actually... Okay guys, like, nah, I can't deal with this. This is so see through. 
I'm actually like not even comfortable standing here right now. You can see my tights, you can see my boozies, like you can see everything. What is this? You can't even wear tights with it. I'm so sorry, Yumiko, like I'm actually not impressed. Like, what? I think I'm just mad because I paid so much money for it. It's like when you pay top dollar, you expect the quality to be up there. I know this is gonna cause a massive rift. Don't come for me in the comments, but seriously, you pay top dollar, you should get top dollar. This is not top dollar, as you can see. I'm just being brutally honest here. Um, positives, all right, I've got to find the positives. I always find the positive in everything. I actually quite like the mesh. The mesh is actually really soft. Um, but the Lycra, it, yeah, no, I would actually give this a two out of 10. Bye-bye. All right, guys, Dega, I am coming out. Right, first impressions. I feel like, I know the Paris Opera Ballet School, they do wear this leotard, but I feel like on me, I look like a box. Like, there's no shape. I don't think it's long enough in the torso. Like, if I was to bend back, like this, like, my boozies are about to come out. And then if I jump, God help. But if I jump, like my boozies are gonna come out again. So for me, this one doesn't have enough support, like for someone with a body type like me. But I, I mean, I just have boozies and I'm very straight up and down. Like I don't have like hips or anything. Um, the corset, like you can see here, see how it's got like lines all up the front. That's like a really cool concept, but that could be the reason why it's making me look like a box. Um, it's like, like the material's really soft. It is really soft. I actually really like the material they've used, but in terms of like the actual shape of the leotard, um, I'm not comfortable, if that makes sense. I am slowly realizing that this is the reason why you guys all love my leotards because it's the actual fit that is like insane. Like I'll, I'm gonna put on my leotard at the very end and like show you again, but seriously, that's what it is. It's the fit. Wow. Okay, I'm in the middle of this video. <laughs> <laughs> I got no comments on what I'm wearing. <laughs> but um, you need to look at this because it looks like what I farted. <laughs> Just <laughs> listen. Listen, listen. Guys, you know how I said I was $250 for it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what to do. Okay, now we're going to move on to So Dancer. Um, now, first impressions. This one feels bigger. So by the way, in all the other brands so far, I've ordered a medium. Um, the, oh, that's why. This one, I've ordered a large. I don't know why. Maybe it was the only one they had available. So, okay. Actually, this one is by far the comfiest so far, but it is a little bit big. But it like really sits nicely. Do you see? Like, see how nice it looks up the top. If I bend back, it's not gonna move around. Like, it stays in place. Yeah, I actually really like this one. And it was reasonably priced. Nice. The Lycra, the Lycra is not the thickest. Like, it's definitely thinner Lycra than like what I use on my leotards. Um, but it is very soft and I really like the mesh. The mesh is like, not as soft as it could be. Like I personally wouldn't put this on my leotards because the feel of it's not soft enough, but I think it's still, you know, it's still nice though. And the pattern's really pretty. So yeah, I'd probably give this like maybe a seven out of 10 because it's, it's pretty much good. I think I just ordered the wrong size. I'll give you a bit of a close up view so you can see. Okay, now guys, we're going on to Eleve. I'm really intrigued to see this. Okay, so let's go. Okay, guys, Eleve. I mean, okay, the pattern, I definitely do not rate the pattern. I feel like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure on this pattern. I personally wouldn't release this, um, but positives. There's always positives. The fit, I think, is really nice. Like, the fit is actually, like, fitting me beautifully. Like, it's not cutting in anywhere. Um, my boozies aren't going to come out. Nothing's going to fall down. So, like, I really like the fit, and I do like the feel of the fabric, especially for printed fabric. Um, the fabric's really nice and soft, but the pattern... Yeah, it's a no from me. <laughs> All right, let's go on to Gaynor Minden. Actually, before I do, I'll give you a close up of this one. I look like Cleopatra. 
All righties, gain or minden. Wowee, um, this one's interesting. One of my pet hates, no offense, is when the seams cut off your boozies. What size am I wearing? I'm wearing an adult small. So I feel like I'm definitely an adult small slash adult medium, but it fits really beautifully. Like I wouldn't go for a size up, but the seam is cutting off my boozies. Can you see that? I remember I um, said that in my last reaction video of Leotards. I've forgotten what brands I tried, but actually I think it was Wear Moi where they cut off like right in line there. I just, yeah, I'm not a fan because it just makes them look like bigger than what they are. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I mean, I vibe this color. I feel like this color is really cool. The fit is really nice. Again, it's not going to fall down. Like nothing's coming out, but it is cutting off my boozies, which I don't love. Um, the back's kind of cute. It is basic. It'd look cute if it was a bit lower maybe and like had a little pinch in it. That would look better, I think, in my opinion. But yeah, the fabric feels really soft. I'll give you a close up. So that's the close up. And I like the cap sleeve. Like it's not fully cap sleeve and it's not like that style on your shoulder. It's kind of like in between. So yeah, I, I kind of rate this. I would rate it like a seven out of 10. Well done, Gaynor. You're like in the running. So Dancer and Gaynor so far are my favorites. Okay, Lucky Leo, let's do this. No, 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 what? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> Look where it's sitting at the front. Like this would make me feel so uncomfortable in ballet class. Like, no, I can't deal. That is, not okay, in my opinion. Like, as I say, I've got boozies, but like in ballet class, I don't really want them like out everywhere for everyone to see. Um, that would make me feel so uncomfortable. Anyway, the color, just not digging it in a leotard. It actually looks better on than I thought. Maybe because of my blonde hair, it kind of like all ties in together. Um, but I definitely wouldn't put this in a leotard. I feel like maybe as like a cute little top or like, I don't know, maybe just a cute little top, but that, yeah, would be as far as it goes. Um, the thickness of the fabric, again, what is doing? This is see-through, like, what is that? There wasn't even an option for me to get lining, I don't think. Like, yeah, I'm just like genuinely shocked. It really makes me appreciate how much pride and effort and hard work we put into like our fabrics and fits and colors of our leotards because yeah, this has like really opened up my eyes today. Like, anyway, I'll give you guys a close up view. So this is it. Like, and if I pull it up, it's just like, again, gonna come back down. Like, and then look at the lining of my boozy. Like it then like mucks up. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think what we should do now is I'm gonna tell you my favorites and also my least favorites and why. Okay, so let's get that going. Okay guys, so I'm back in my comfort leotard. I own Leos. This literally makes me appreciate like how amazing our fits, our colors, our quality, the fabrics, how amazing it is. Because when I try on some other brands, no shade, I mean, but it does really show you like how much effort we put into it. Anyway, let's do a rating from um, weakest to best. So the Yumiko one, I'm probably the most disappointed with because I paid so much money for that and it is so not what I thought it was gonna be. Um, so yeah, that one's like over here. Um, Lucky Leo. This one was very close to that one. I really had to toss it up, but I think because the price was so much dearer, that like tipped me over the edge. But this one, I mean, again, it was cheaper. So I guess you do get what you pay for. Um, yeah, it was just the fit again. Like it was just showing my boozies. I just, I'm not into that, okay? Um, then the next thing was this Dagar one. Um, this one was cute. Like I like the concept of it, like with the paneling and the corset vibe. But I guess again, the fit was not right um, on my body and I'm like fairly proportioned. So um, yeah, that kind of put me off that one. Um, the next one was Eleve. I mean, I really like the fabrics and the fit, but the pattern like is a no from me. So I think if this was in like a different color, 
Um, but we did get it because it was called Mona, so that's the reason why we got it. Um, yeah, so if it was in a different color, then maybe. But even as well, like I would never put like velvet with this, like it's just too much. There's like too much happening. Like I would just put that in white, like keep it clean, keep it simple. Like there's a lot happening in the leotard, like just keep it clean. Um, but everyone's got their own, you know, opinions in that. The Gaynor one, I would say this one was like one of the nicest fits and the fabric was really pretty and I really liked the color and it wasn't like the most expensive one. So I would definitely say, that one was good. The So Dancer, this one was my favorite out of all of them because number one, it wasn't crazy expensive. Number two, the fit was definitely the best out of all of them. Like I wasn't gonna come out in any way, shape or form. The only negative was the lace. I just found it a little bit scratchy, but otherwise I felt like, you know, it was fairly good. So yeah, that's my like total review on all those leotards. And I am actually like pretty shocked. I thought like all of them would be amazing for some reason. That's like how I had my expectations. And then the reality was very different, okay? So just be careful when you're shopping. Like just make sure that you're buying from a brand that you know is gonna fit you right. And they're putting a lot of effort into their fabrics and quality because it's very important. You gotta wear these leotards like all the time. They've gotta wash well, they've gotta wear well. So. Yeah. All right, dancers, thank you so much for watching my latest video. I can't wait to see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Love you all so much.